Tiger Todd here for Hero School and Hero Zinc. And today I uh, just uh, finished a long Hero School Academy uh, with uh, what we call homeless, houseless, and hopeless. Of course, we make the distinction at Hero School. What was it that Robert Kiyosaki wrote about in Rich Kid, Smart Kid that intelligence is the ability to make finer distinctions, right? Breaking things down about a subject makes you more intelligent. Of course, we've done that. Gosh, it was the 25th anniversary Hero School. I don't think I've been in 1,600 plus of them, but uh, uh, anyway, anyway. I, uh, one of the great things that I experienced this week with these, these courageous people who came off the streets to come into that course is, uh, is how much awareness is uh, gotta, it's got to be the first step for a human being to to take some ground, get some leverage on a problem. And speaking of problems, uh, M. Scott Peck, who wrote *The Road Less Traveled*, he actually talks about life being just a series of problems. That life is a series of problems, and it sounds depressing. But stay with me for a moment, because I was in a big oh challenge in in my in my business career years ago uh, having to put out fires in a business that I had delegated to others and uh, oh my goodness I was cleaning up that business for years but in the beginning I was just struggling this shouldn't happen to me I shouldn't have to go through this and if that's ever been you right where you built something you paid for something you invested in something it's working and then you left it to someone else's hands whether whether by delegation or abdication and then all of a sudden things just turned to crap. Well, someone had recommended the book, The Road Less Traveled, and uh, I know I'd driven around with it for a couple of weeks in the front seat of my car, and finally, one day, I just, in all my frustration, I got one more call, one more, I think in this case, it was a cell phone company, and all the guys that I had had to let go when I took retook this business, apparently they owed $1,600 or some such thing, and I'm thinking, my God, all these hundreds of thousands of dollars I've had to pay for. I didn't even get to party on that money, right? So I was going through my pity party. The book, The Road Less Traveled, was sitting there in the front seat of my car. And I just, I pulled over and I started to read it. First page, page one. First line of the book. Life is difficult. And I remember what I did. Uh, I was just looking there. I was like, this is the first line of the book. So I took a pen out of my pocket. And I remember writing in the new second line of the book, no shit. And uh, my goodness, I felt better. And I think, my God, this book is working and I'm just on the first line. But Dr. Peck goes on to make the argument that once you accept that life is not only difficult, but it's supposed to be. In other words, life is a series of problems for us to solve to help us on this hero's journey to make us who we can be, right? That without the struggle and without learning how to think, to challenge ourselves to address the problems that life throws at us, right? Without that, that struggle like the caterpillar to become a butterfly, right? Someone else opens up that cocoon, the caterpillar doesn't have the inner strength to, to birth itself into the next image or iteration of itself. Hold on a second. Turning, turning. All right, so anyway. Uh, so, uh, so anyway, life is difficult. It's supposed to be. And at the moment we recognize, oh, of course, this is what, this is what life of an entrepreneur, business owner, you know, is supposed to be like, that we have these challenges and instead of run for them or have some some unrealistic expectation that it's supposed to be simple, that things are supposed to work out for you every day, that that's really what we struggle about. That's where the pain and suffering comes from. I love that definition from Tony Robbins. What's the difference between pain and suffering, right? Pain, pain is when you have an experience that doesn't match your expectation, right? Whether that's a, a cut on your arm or a, a cut on your heart. Right? We have an expectation that things are supposed to be a certain way and reality is not aligning with that expectation. And yet suffering is when you don't think it'll ever change. So let me give you a tip from The Road Less Travel today, which is actually a book about love and, and personal responsibility and life and all the things that grow heroic character. Uh, but I'll just never forget the first day I decided to read the book and, uh, and discovered 
uh, this truth about not only is life difficult, but it's supposed to be. Hold on, I'm passing a car that has stopped in the middle of the road. And uh, there we go, we've passed. And uh, so once you accept that life is not only difficult, but it's supposed to be, it ceases being as difficult. So I'm gonna say, start by declaring war on your expectations. That maybe your expectations are not based in reality. Uh, clearly don't change your desires, but maybe we have to change our approach. Maybe have, we have to change uh, our intellect, right? Or our intelligence, right? The ability to make finer distinctions, or as Paul told Timothy, to study, to show yourself approved unto God. Right, the Amplified Bible says, a doer of the work, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, right? So breaking things down into smaller chunks. And the first big chunk, 90% of a problem solved is the awareness that the problem is there to help us become the next iteration of ourselves. So with that, it's Tiger Todd. Speaking to you heroes, we believe in heroes and we believe in you. Hey Hero, Tiger Todd here for Hero School, and I'm just so grateful you had a chance to watch this latest video. Make sure you click subscribe so you're always getting the latest videos from Hero School and Heroes Inc. automatically. And uh, we'd love to see your comments below and some insight that you might have. What is it Emerson said? Everyone's my superior in some way in that I learn from him or her. And we'd love to hear your insight, what you've read, and your view of the world. So see you soon, and remember, we believe in heroes, we believe in you.